Today I'm going to be giving an update on the Mark W. Barker and talking about another ship being scrapped. So, Algoma Central has sold the Algoma Spirit for scrapping in Turkey. The ship has been inactive at Montreal since January 4th. It will leave on its own power, likely under a flag change and a name change as well. Ah, <sighs> why do you have to do this, Algoma? Anyways, on to the Mark W. Barker. So, the news on the Mark W. Barker is the layout of the superstructure has been completed. So, here it is. Take a moment to put in a comment about what you think of the superstructure. Anyways, the interior has not been started on, but the four-deck superstructure will have a lot of accommodations, including a galley, a mess, a lounge, staterooms for all the crew members, exercise facilities, it'll have a meeting room, owner's accommodation, another owner's lounge, and also a fire equipment locker. The top deck will house the pilot house, and the hub for navigation, and also the ship handling devices. The ship is also the first Great Lakes vessel to be built in the U.S. in 36 years, which is a huge deal for the U.S. And I hope it'll spark up new possibilities of other ships being built in the U.S. for the Great Lakes in the future. On July 7th, or yesterday, on the making of this video, the Coast Guard Cutter Elder um, left from Duluth and headed for Baltimore, Maryland. Um, after that, it will head to San Francisco, and that will be its new home port for a while. So, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video. And thank you for 50 subscribers. Let's get to 60 now. Also, be sure to check out some of my featured channels. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Which, trust me, it'll be a real treat. Don't miss out.